Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. So today there was a couple of big changes to Google Slides or presentations as you may call them. These changes include editable themes and support for widescreen presentations. So if you've been paying attention to Google Guru, we recently had a video outlining the process for creating a widescreen presentation. So you used to have to create a presentation in PowerPoint and import it into your Google Drive to be able to create a widescreen presentation. But from now on, since Google recognizes that the majority of monitors and displays are now widescreen, all the presentations that you create from now on will be widescreen by default. You can also go into your older presentations and change the layout to widescreen by going to the file menu and selecting page setup where you can select from like I said the widescreen by default there's a couple options here 16 by 9 is the most common there's also support for 16 by 10 and if you wanted to revert back to the standard format 4 by 3 you can do that as well now the much bigger change and it's a much more sweeping change is the ability to customize the preset themes of your Google presentations. So this is achieved by this new edit master feature which can be found in the slide menu. So you can click on slide and then go down to edit master. So from here you'll see this brand new view which highlights the theme that I'm using right now which is just this simple light theme and you can see here that this is the master title slide so from here I can edit the various fonts or formats of my slide so for example I can change this font here from Arial to impact and if you look closely you can see that the format of my existing slides has been changed to match it along with these sub layouts here so you can see that the title will carry over to all of these other layouts so you can have that consistent feel across all of your slides. So like I said you can continue to go down here and edit this master title slide card and you can also go in here and edit the individual slides. So for example I could switch up this format for my title slide cards and make this italics. So then if we take a look at the title slide card here that I have existing you can see that it's in italics to match it. So I'll go back into slide to the edit master. So these are all of the existing slide cards that are available so you can see there's the various ones like one column and two column but if you want to create a custom layout all you need to do is click on this plus icon for new slide while you're in this edit master view. From here I can create this brand new format that I can use in my presentation. So let's say I want to put this text box down here at the bottom and insert a new text box of my own. So I can maybe do a reverse two column approach right here and have a text box here and then insert another text box over here. So after I'm done with that, I can just close down this master slide. And if I want to create a slide using this custom layout that I just created, I can click on the drop down icon next to the plus icon right here and select my custom layout to option. So like I said there's a lot of customizability with this new update to slides and presentations. I think this is a really cool way to have control over an entire presentation and allow you to duplicate it over and over again. So for example this would be great for company presentations that you'd like to keep consistent. It would be great for school presentations or anything like that. So if you guys have any questions about this recent update to Google Slides, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.